Today, we're back with something new. A new box? A new box. Tokyo Treat. Let's see where it's from. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> we got this little magazine. Apparently, if we had an Instagram, we could post pictures of ourselves. Oh. Enjoying Tokyo Treat. I don't want to read what anything is. I'm going to pick first, like always. Okay. I see. Mike Popcorn. Apparently, it's delicious. Mike Popcorn by Frito Lay. They're all over the place, aren't they? Interesting. So, right away, opening it. There's a smell. They smell like, from the dishes, it smells like cheese. I guess I smell something lightly sweet. Well, once you got it closer to me, I smell something lightly sweet. I will agree. Let's smell more up close. Can't put a finger on this smell. I don't know if it's cheesy or sweet. <laughs> In they go. I am not sure what I'm tasting. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, it's not bad. It's I'm, not bad. It's just, I have no clue what flavor I am tasting. I can't tell if it's uh, like a light cheese or yeah, lightly sweet, like caramel popcorn without the hard shell. It's definitely lightly sweet. It is. It's not super strong flavor. No, it's not. It tastes like good popcorn, only not salty or buttery. Yeah. It's actually pretty good, but it's lightly flavored. Very light. Mike likes it light. All right, so that was interesting. It was good. Uh, not much to say about the texture. It's popcorn. It's popcorn texture. And we <laughs> don't know what to tell you about the taste. <laughs> we can't. I will say, if we were having to be in Japan and we saw them, I would still get them. It was good. <laughs> it was good popcorn. <laughs> Next, I'm going to pick this angry little guy. That's all angry. He's kicking the ball with passion. Ah. So this is Umai. I think that's sugar, sugar rusk. I don't know. <laughs> So, no smell from these yet. I certainly don't smell sugar. No? It does have a light cheese smell. So, um, you want to take bets if it's going to be crispy or crunchy? I'm going to bet it's crispy and crunchy. I bet you it will be. Okay, so, well, I know it says sugar, but uh, we smell cheese. I smell cheese. I taste sugar. Now that is interesting. It's a fake out. <laughs> wow. I think I can describe a taste on this one. Yay! Butter toast. Butter? With, with a little bit of sugar on it. Mm. Not cinnamon sugar, just sugar. Didn't smell like sugar. I'd have to agree. A, a light smell of what you thought you were getting like a a cheesy snack. Expected it to be crunchy, but it was really airy and crunchy. It was tasty. Like um, really crunchy dry toast. But so wow, those were neat. They were neat. It did taste like butter, only not salty. Guess like sweetened butter. One crunchy toast. Would you like to pick the next one? I think I'm gonna pick what looks like, what kind of like a onion head? 
they do look like onion people and the dad looks like he may be shoveling his child. <laughs> so let's see, I can't read the kanji because I don't know a whole host of kanji, so I only know the basics. Looks like it has a little story back here. So I'm going to assume that these may be onion flavored cheese balls. Or maybe we just ain't onion flavored balls. Like cheese balls. Like um uh, cheese puffs. Yeah. Wow. That's a strong smell. Or I guess it's onion. Not strong, but it's a good smell. It's a proud smell. It's proud of itself. <laughs> All right. Let's try these out. Give it a smell. I, they this... don't smell as strong outside of the bag. No. It doesn't smell like onion. I don't know. I can't. Maybe it smells like caramelized onions. Maybe a caramelized onion. All right. Let's stop sniffing it. I can't figure out if it's onion. Hmm. No cheese. Definitely no cheese. All right. <laughs> uh, maybe he's not shoveling his son. Maybe that's a spatula and he's like caramelizing him. Maybe it is. What a good flavor. It was a good flavor. It's strong, but doesn't overwhelm your tongue. No, it doesn't. It's actually pretty pleasant. Pleasant. It's not salty. No, it's not overly salty. So, there we have it. I'm gonna guess caramelized mm. onion puff balls. Very good. Would definitely like to have those again. I would. Actually, so far I'd like to have everything again. That's true. Next is me. Yep. We're gonna go with these beautiful looking Sakura petal, what I assume from the squish are marshmallows. And the fact that it says marshmallow right there. And it looks like on the back of it, putting it in stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, let's open these up. All right, there is a smell. It's a very flowery smell. It is. I want to say roses, but it's not roses. It's kind of like flower perfume. I'm going to try a pink one. I think I got a pink one. Even though they're like softly pink. Wow, they're very melt in your mouth. They are. Yeah, I'll try a white one. See if I can get a white one. And it does taste like they're different flavors per color. The pink one has more of a fruity, florally, flowery taste. And the white ones are just... They're just pleasantly sweet. They are pleasantly sweet. Wow, that's really good. No more? Grab two more. Now it's time to save and put it in hot chocolate. Wow, I'd like to put some in my coffee. Yeah. Like, flour it up. <laughs> put them in and arrange them like flowers. Not much you can say about the texture. It's a nice, light marshmallow. You like give them a little chew and then they... Are they, gone. They do the rest for you. <laughs> yep. We're going to go with something tiny. Oh. Here we have ramen. From the look of what's in the bag, I assume it's candy that tastes like ramen noodles. Let's give it a smell. Mmm. Definitely not. <laughs> They're not sweet. No, it smells like ramen noodles. I guess we'll give you a little, Hi. little sprinkle there. It does smell like ramen noodles. Interesting. Neat. 
It's like ramen noodles cooked and then deep fried. Well, these are very crunchy. They are crunchy. Again, they're not salty. No? They do have the texture of dry noodles, only not so hard on your teeth. I can't tell you the flavor though. I think it's some sort of vegetable, like a vegetable broth. Pleasant. It is pleasant. What an interesting snack. It was an interesting snack. Not sure what else to say about that other than pleasantly crunchy, dry flavored ramen noodles. I will agree. Agreed. So next I will pick what I think is a little monkey dude, or maybe he's just a cartoon character. And I can't read that at all, although I know this says new. And it looks like mochi taco taro. Mochi taro. I can't read. read. I can't even read English. No more monkey business. Let's open this up. Mmm. Ooh. That's, that's quite a smell. I'm not sure what it is. Wicked, I need your opinion. What, what is that smell, Wicked? Do you know? He's not being cooperative and telling us what that smell is. Wicked, you are not being cooperative. More cheesy puff type shape, crunchy stuff. Kind of looks like pieces of toast. It does. I guess it smells like when you toast crust and like yeah. it just starts to burn. <laughs> it does kind of smell like that. So. So it kind of tastes like that a little bit too. Just before burnt toast taste. What you see and what you smell is what you get, folks. It looks like toast. It smells like toast. It tastes like toast. <laughs> Interesting. It's just not... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> not something I would buy at the store. No. Something I would make in my kitchen. Not intentionally, but... <laughs> I think we described it pretty well. <laughs> I think we did. Let's move on. I think we're going to try whatever this is. It looks like a... It says cheese. Cheese? Mm -hmm. Oh. Cheese. Cheese. Something with cheese. We'll have a cheese stick here. We have a... That smells like cheese. We have a... Uh... Cheese tube. Cheese tube. It's a cheese pool noodle. <laughs> there you go. There's your cheese noodle. Cheese pool noodle. <laughs> it smells like it. Definitely smells cheesy. Tastes like a mild cheese puff. A mild cheese puff. Not very salty, but mm. the same flavor and texture. Yeah, I liked it, actually. So it's basically a cheese puff minus salt in the shape of a scary creature looking tube. <laughs> kind of looks like a tremor or a tardigrade. Next is moi. We're going to go with this banana man. Well, let's see how another country does banana. Banana choco cream. Hmm. It kind of feels like another circus peanut. It does like that. This is definitely a marshmallow with sort of a soft candy coating. Yep. And definitely a tiny bit of what I assume is chocolate sauce in the middle. It smells very much banana y. I think I've made with real banana. I don't know. It wasn't bad. It was a very, very strong banana flavor. 
but not a bad banana flavor. If any time I've ever had an artificial banana here, I've always hated it. <laughs> Laffy Taffy, stuff like even the runts. Oh, I like banana runts. I hated them. So there you have it. That was banana marshmallow. Again, soft and melty like the Sakura marshmallows. And I have to say the chocolate, I didn't even know was there. I think I got a minuscule taste of it. It looks like they stuck a spaghetti noodle <laughs> to make the space for the chocolate sauce. Squishy choco sauce. <laughs> we are gonna have this what feels like a gummy. All right, so it kind of does feel either gummy or another marshmallow because I think the packaging is kind of tight with air. Yeah. Here we have Kawaii Kute Oishiyo. I guess that means cutely delicious. It does look cute. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what flavor, but that's why we're here. Yeah. We're here to try it out. Definitely a marshmallow. A lot of marshmallows. So this is a, what kind of looks like a candy cane striped marshmallow. Hmm. It has a strong vanilla smell. Is Does. that vanilla? It smells like vanilla. So I'm gonna guess it's vanilla flavored. We could be wrong. But you're right. <laughs> Definitely a soft marshmallow. Yes, it is a soft marshmallow. Not quite as melty as the previous marshmallows. No, it wasn't. More flavorful than the Sakura marshmallows. Less flavorful than the banana marshmallow. <laughs> yes. That was vanilla flavored marshmallow. It was tasty though. With regular fresh soft marshmallow texture. Yep. I would put that in my hot chocolate. Put that in your hot chocolate and drink it. <laughs> Let's see if we can find any more marshmallows. Next, we're going to try these stringy, sort of pipe cleaner looking things. <laughs> so I believe this says Monster. I can't make this one out because it's kind of stylized, but it's something me Monster. Which color string would you like? I thought you would cut it so we could have a little bit of each. Oh, I guess you put it all in your mouth like tape. Well, I wasn't going to do that, but... And now it's time to taste the rainbow. Woo! <coughs> Woo! I'm going to assume the green one was lime flavored. Probably why you're supposed to eat one at a time. There's no instructions. I wasn't ready. <laughs> wow. Hell tasty. That yeah. was monstrous. I want to say it was sour, but I mean, I think it was sour. I think it had a sweetness and a sour. What a punch. That was a one punch noodle. I'm not sure how to describe that. I'm sure we probably have a similar candy. Like probably like a similar sour type candy. So we probably do. So take a sour candy and encrust it with sugar crystals and then you can uh, have that on your tongue. <sighs> very pleasantly sweet yet very sour, only not sour, fruit flavor. No. It's weird. Next. I can read something. Fruits, donut because it says it in English. Oh, not a fruits basket. Fruits donut. Wonder what kind of fruit. I guess an apple since it's green. Could be, could be a pear. Two colored. Upon cutting this, we have another sort of really gummy marshmallowy texture. Probably more gummy. Probably more gummy. Can't smell what it is. No real smell to no. detect. I 
I'm going to assume since half of it is green and half of it is yellow that the green portion is like green apple and the yellow is like lemon because that's sort of what I get in my mouth is the light sourness of a green apple and lemon encrusted with sugar and in gummy form. Interesting. It has a weird sort of dish detergent taste. It tastes kind of like dish detergent smells. I wasn't expecting that. I guess it was pleasantly sour and flavorful. I will agree. Uh, very fruity, although still not super sweet. No, it wasn't. I agree with what you said. <laughs> One of those hard things to describe. Next. <laughs> so we have one thing left, and it sort of worries me because I see the word lemon. So I'm worried we're going to assault my tongue again, but wow, that is not what I expected it to look like. What does it look like? Um, a cracker. Here is your piece of this very hard, crispy thing. I'm not sure the smell, get it? I'm really scared it's gonna be sour, but I don't smell lemon. No, no, neither. You ready? I'm ready. Interesting. I'm not sure what it is, but it's interesting. So that was a non-sour lemon toast. It's too crunchy and hard to be a cracker. I think it tasted like a little bit of fish sauce on it. I don't know. Did you get that? Yeah. Fish sauce, soy sauce, something, something savory. Yeah. I didn't taste the lemon at all, but it tastes a little bit of a you know, sourness, so, hint. I tasted the lemon. It was like a good lemon. Uh, that was pretty good. I would like to have a much bigger one of those. I would too, actually. That would be interesting to have. I was scared of it, but instead of making categories and picking our favorite things out of categories, we are going to pick our favorite snack and then our least favorite snack out of all of them. Hmm. So would you like to go first? What was your favorite snack? I actually really like the... The sugar rusk? Yeah. Oh, I have a weird, interesting flavor, like buttery toast without cinnamon. If you add cinnamon to that, that'd be great too. No, keep the cinnamon out of this. There's no need to bring cinnamon into this. I was saying another package. You keep cinnamon out of this. Japan knows better than to put cinnamon in their snacks. <laughs> um, hard to say what my least favorite one was. I guess that first gummy. The strength. The incredibly powerful sugar encrusted rainbow. I'm gonna have to agree. That was the worst just because of how powerful it was. <laughs> I'm sure people like it, so I don't wanna, we don't wanna bad mouth anything, but uh, it's uh, too strong for me. Now, what was your favorite? All right, so the favorite is a bit harder. I also <laughs> like the sweet butter toast, but I really liked the, uh, lemon crunchy thing. I guess it reminded me of the Terralinis. I loved the flavor. It was just so good and just pleasantly savory and flavorful and but I really like the sweet butter toast. I liked it all. So I'll just be a little different than you and I'll just say I'll just say that I would really like a big giant one of these. I like a big giant bag of the sweet things. And I would also like a big giant bag of these. So, this
this was really fun. That was fun. It was a lot of unique things. It was. So thanks for hanging out with us in our Tokyo treat box today. We had a lot of fun. It was a lot of good and unique things. I can't wait to do it again. We only have to wait a month. Yep. So thanks Japan for all the oishi snacks and all the kawaii packaging. So if you liked hanging out with us, please take a moment to like and subscribe. And maybe ring that notification bell. That would be awesome. So we hope to see you next time so I can lightly butcher some Japanese, <laughs> not read some kanji, and hopefully not make too weird of faces eating sour stuff. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. can't see my eyeballs. They're all black. Because <laughs> these lashes are so big. So do you want to... Or like a marshmallow. Time to taste the rainbow. <laughs>